Okay, so we have a student. I'm not doing this with my demo site. Okay, so this video is going to go into the advanced, uh, the advanced concept library, but it's it's with uh, one of our student sites. Obvious who this is, and he agreed to let us do this um, with his site. I'm going to get these all closed up. We'll start with his index. So he's complaining that he's put some pages online. Okay, I assume that they're these pages. Yeah, yeah. I assume that they're these pages within your site. Now, I've pulled Sam's site into my computer. And these pages are all there, and they all have navigation similar to what we have on the index page. Okay, So the index page has been set up with navigation. Let's check it out. Home links back to index. Index is in the same folder. No folder breath. Good. This links into the pages folder to a page called education. And I'm assuming he has the rest of them set up like that. Looks, Yep, looks good, looks good. I'm just clicking on each link and looking down there. Down to resume, that looks good. I can help you fix that in a second. I don't know if that even shows up in live view, but okay, good, you're fine then. Um, it's just a guideline, it's just a grid line. Then there's no bottom nav. You're gonna wanna get rid of this crap, okay? Yeah, so this is a good video for linking for everybody because make sure if you don't have bottom nav that you've at least gone through and gotten rid of anything that is associated with where you maybe got this or somebody helped you with it and made up. You don't want any nonsense links in here, okay? You want to get rid of those. Uh, back up here to the navigation. So this all looks good from here. Now he's complaining that when he gets in there, he can't navigate from page to page. So let's go online because he's uploaded to the server. Here is his site, okay? If we go directly to the page online, okay, which I'm already at. I, got, I went to comp5046.com. I pull up the name of his root directory, it loads index automatically. I click on work experience, just to pick one for example, and it went to pages to the work experience file, just like I thought it would in here, okay, when I had index up. I checked the link, looked fine, all right, pages, work experience, good stuff. Now, from here, it, none of them are working. So it's, this, it's the navigation past his main navigation, and, and that's just on work experience. So can we go back home? No, we can't even go back home. So clearly the, the navigation at work experience has a problem. Let's try it on another page. Education. Can we go back home? No. So without checking all of them, I can, I can tell it's, it's happening on at least two of them. So it's probably all the sub pages. Now, this will only work if you've tried to make the links on these sub pages. So close index. We know that one's fine. Open up any of these. Let's try awards. Let's go to home. Home is linking directly to index.html. What's the problem? It needs to bounce out to get back to index, okay? Education is linking directly to pages, but it's already in pages. So the links are all there. The problem is, and I'm not trying to pick on this student, and he did volunteer to have himself the subject of this video. Um, and you got this right on the test, so I'm actually upset because a lot of people got this wrong on the test. You got it right, and now you're messing it up. Somewhere along the way, you had created these, these outside of pages, just like I taught you, and then you put them in pages. You didn't update links, okay? But because you've gone ahead and made the links, this is actually pretty easy to fix now. If you just still had all number signs there or all the same length, link, it'd be harder to fix this way. But if you've updated all the links and each of them are individually broken, they're, you know, the specific way, you can go into the site menu and use a tool called Check Links Site Wide. It will scan every page and figure out why the links are not working. Okay? And you can actually go through and see which links aren't working. So every link to awards is busted. Every link to education is busted. Every link, and they're all busted in the same exact way. All right? Links to files not found. So the files are there. The path is wrong. Oh, sorry. It's telling you where it's actually broken. This is the file, and this is the actual link that's broken. So this is not hard to fix, right? What you can do is actually go and change this link to awards. Do you also want to change the remaining broken links? Sure. You just fixed all of them on every page. Do the next one. 
Done. Now you can't do them all at once, okay? But you can do them all on every page at once, which is kind of nice. So you need to get rid of the pages path, and it, it won't change the ones on your index that are set to follow the pages path into the pages folder, because those aren't broken. It's only pulling up the broken ones. And it'll pull them out of your CSS too if they're broken, but you don't have any CSS issues here. So, so. Do I, for the ones when I like, put them on a sub page, I want to go back to home, do I have to put something in front of it to get it? Yep, That's one, that one's the next one. Okay, so how did I do this? I went to site, check link site wide. I think I might have gone to change, but now if you change link site wide, it will just directly ask you what link screwed up, what do you want to change it to? And if you knew your links, you could do it that way. Check links site wide allows you to do the same thing, but you, it actually shows you which links are broken. If this is dragged way over like it was on mine, make sure you pull it over because this is the most important part, is the broken link part. The file path is just telling you which file has the broken link. So all of the subpages need a bounce out code because you put it in there and you didn't update links. Don't tell me you did because you didn't, okay? You did it in Windows and you know damn well you did. So not doing it in Dreamweaver, he didn't update links, but because he'd made his links, it's not the end of the world because they're all each individual links, it's way easier to fix them. So for this, this is broken, this to change it to, and this goes way back to the web workshop, the bounce out, and you're going to see this too on your styles sheet. When you put it into a styles folder and it needs to bounce out to get into images, you're going to see dot, dot, forward slash put in front of it. So yeah, the link to index, if index was still sitting in the same folder, sure, of course, it's just index. But you put them in the pages folder, which is how I prefer it to be organized for your test, for your final project. So when you did it and dragged them all in there, you should have updated it. You didn't, but not the end of the world. You click enter on the first one, just like the others. You fix them all. What the hell just happened? Um, excuse me, sorry. Uh, fix a link, hit enter. Do you want to fix the remaining? Yes, fix them all. Okay, apparently the bounce out you're gonna have to do for everyone. So that does get a little tedious. Well, sorry, buddy. Done that on its own, because for some reason I think I remember deleting that. Like it said dot dot slash when I raised it. Um, it would have had it in the original. Yeah, and I think I formatted it. You know what? This might actually be this might actually and I'm glad this happened even in the video because I've I've demonstrated this a lot for classes, but I've never had to do the bounce out, and it looks to me like the bounce out is something that doesn't actually work when you're fixing links. You might have to go to change link. Um, see now, you gotta be careful with this. If you go change link site wide and you find everything to index, okay? So every direct link to index dot HTML and you changed it to dot dot bounce out index dot HTML it probably will both links oh that's so ridiculous okay here guys this is the only reason it wasn't working that's the correct code and I haven't had a situation where I've had to do this in a video but when you're using a bounce out code and it starts with periods right you have to put another forward slash in front of it it just needs that all the slash is telling it is we're about to put you into a file path okay nope that didn't work either well wow, I'm not gonna keep this video um, maybe I will, because I still should be able to get this to work. Um, it just, you know what? I might have found a, a, a loophole in this where it doesn't actually work. Uh, the bounce out, it's just not happening. It's also pulling in some stuff from my site, but we're not going to deal with those. Um, so all of these, it's, it's each of the pages going back to index. It's very easy to see which one it is. It needs to bounce out. I am unable to find a way to do it, so if I click on the file button and go directly to the file, we're going to find out how it wants us to draw it. Okay, good. That's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, it just, you know what? It's just not accepting it. I'm surprised nobody's complained about this on any Dreamweaver form. So for this one, because he needs to put the bounce out on the index link on all these pages, you're going to actually have to just close this tab group. You're going to, well, by hand, whatever. Just go to each one. And just, you know what, just type the whole thing out once, and then you can just copy and paste it in each thing. So do the bounce out right here, hit enter, save the file, close it, do the next one on index, right? Do the bounce, home. I don't know why your home is going to awards, that's weird. It's going somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> 
do the bounce out, save it, close it. Uh, did we already do awards? Okay, good. That's there. That's there. So for this one, you know, and I will keep this video because it's, you're bound to, if, if people screw up all the pages links, they're bound to screw up the bounce out too. So you're going to have to go and do that manually. And that's very rare do I pick on Dreamweaver for not being friendly about something, but that's kind of annoying because the check and change links site-wide tools are really useful. for Like think, see what I'm doing right now? Think if I had to do this for every single link on each of these subpages. That would suck, right? But I don't. I just have to do it for the first one because the dot dot forward slash the bounce out code is the only thing that it won't accept. Okay, so I'm going to finish the last two and then I'll stop recording. Um, but there is a good way if you've totally wrecked the navigation in your site, and, and I wouldn't say Sam wrecked it. I already did that one. Um, but you've moved it without updating links, but you did try and do it. Updating links or check, check links or change links site wide is a great way to go and fix that. Uh, absolutely. You got a space in your file name there. I, would, I wouldn't have done that. So one last thing in this video, volunteer work, work experience, see where there's spaces in them. I don't want spaces and file names. It puts stupid characters in there. It messes up your, your AdWords searching. Put an underscore in or put a dash in, something like that. When you do that and hit enter, update links on every page you link to that, okay? You don't have to go back and fix any of those. This is the magic of Dreamweaver. When you move files and it asks you to update links and you know you're supposed to be doing that there, update links, right? And that's the only reason he lost all his links. So in addition to the standard updating links thing, which I've shown you in the test review videos and all that, now you know how to go check links and change links site-wide. So even if you have an external link, like to a YouTube, uh, a YouTube um, profile, for example, or like a YouTube channel or a uh, Facebook profile, okay, which you might want to link to from your site and do like a blank link and it opens up as a new page. Let's say you change it up and the link changes and you have it linked to every single page in your site. Go in there, check link site wide, okay. Uh, sorry, change link site wide, put the current link in, and then put the new link in. It'll change every single one of them. Even external, it doesn't have to be internal to your site. Okay, uh, question, and I'm going to keep recording just in case this now is. Now that you've made changes to it, do yeah. you have to upload it and do I have to take it back off to use it again? Or yes, like exactly. That's a very good question. I'm glad we threw that into this video. So I pulled Chad's folder down from my server. For him to get the new versions of these files, I have to put, okay, and they'll be up as soon as it's done here within a minute or so, and then he has to go and get. And by to get each of those files, the best way for him to do that is to go into the pages folder, highlight all, you don't have to get the entire site. Just go into the pages folder. Well, actually you might as well. It's probably safer. I'll change enough and crap in it. Yep. Okay. Anything with the same exact name should be copied right over. And I'm going to check into GoDaddy and make sure that when you guys start deleting stuff, that should be also removed as you sync up. Um, so really good ways to quickly fix links. Like this video is probably maybe about 10 minutes. You guys see, it shouldn't take that long. It should not be an all day thing. All my links are broken. Okay.